Uh, What's up, guys? Hey, Woo-hoo. we are uh, we're back after for again for us what was like a four or five week hiatus. I just rolled a twenty, but um, that's Roll a again. bad sign going into this. Uh, uh, no, because I rolled a one before. Oh, great! So so it are, averages out. It's going to be now. mediocre. Okay. Yeah. So for us, it's been about a month. For you, it's been a week. If no, you follow us, not even. Uh, no. Why aren't you following them? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Why aren't you following us? We live at. No, I'm just, uh, you should follow me. Home later, and <laughs> we'll lonely. like hang out or something. I don't get out much. <laughs> Whistle. Whistle. Got, he always has Totina pizza rolls at his house, dude. That's a true fact. <laughs> I know it is. And he Pepperoni. loves mashed potatoes with mayo. That's uh, not necessarily true. <laughs> anyway, continue, Pat. Uh, so uh, last time, uh, I can do a, a fairly decent. Uh, Recap because watched we, we sent it to everybody because it had been so long. So everybody's watched it recently. So we, we pretty much remember where we left off. Um, <clears throat> we completed our dungeon crawl uh, in an actual dungeon with uh, that Justin created out of parchment paper at our house. It's hot. And uh, I died three times. Yep. Or Rufio died three times. Mm-hmm. Uh, I died. definitely tried to mouth sex uh, a succubus. And did we get her succeeded name? in that. You didn't ask her name. Damn it. Why did you try and kill her before we got her name? Because it was the <laughs> thing my character would have did, done. Did you tell Patrick the thing like as soon as I, I left? Oh, yeah, that she would have given us valuable information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Legitimate it's valuable not, information. It's not my character. It's not, he wouldn't have done that. Homie, don't play that. But she fucked us up, and then we left the dungeon. Yeah, uh, yeah. We, we, almost, we almost TPK'd each other. Like, that's how... Bad it was. So you should know it's a good game, man. Yeah, yeah. He was. You were down to six. I was down to six. And I, I at, at one time, Mike and I had a collective eight hit points. But yeah, I mean, us. I when I got mind controlled and I went swiping on him, I literally got a natural twenty and got a credit on him. So like, dicks. And I was fine. Yeah, I'm looking at this and I fucking hate you. <laughs> what, what's your twenty-eight? Out of thirty-one. He took three. Because most of my of thing damage. was when I was trying to... He was on top of the stuff. Berserker. Correct. Yeah, you were on top of the Berserker. You were trying to unlock the cage yeah. to let her out, and we should never have done that. You know... That was a mistake. That was we big. Yeah, but we, we, learned. We, we, learned. we learned. We learned. That's what's important. You live, you learn. You got loves. Live, And laugh, on that note, love. let's get into the game. Yes. Sir Justin. Master, I'm sorry, God. Master DM. Thank you. No bacon on the salad. I... S- I <laughs> I do slip into a lot of DMs. Okay, I have to do the dick thing now, so I know that I'm far away. Is the this basic. good? Are my levels good? Can you hear me talking right now? You could. You can get a little because you have it. You have the mic pointed down. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's what you want. Right right better. Yes. Yeah. Better level. That's yeah, that that's meatiness good. right there. Okay. <clears throat> so. Oh God. So last where we were, you had just made it out of the the cave of the dungeon. Irina, welcoming you back. Gray running down into the dungeon, always Gosh, late. Fucking Gray. Always Master. late. Because you wanted to stay. Um, and from what I remember, uh, Gray put in a good word for you with Irina. And Irina managed to try to quell the pain and anger that all of you were feeling. Um, the next night, you you have a wonderful night's sleep. It's been the most restful that you've felt in days. Um, In the morning, as you are waking up in the Berserker camp, because I'm going to assume that you stayed there. Yeah. It seems that they had moved their camp, and it's just the the five of you. Six of you. There are six of you. Gray, yeah. Yeah, I forgot about dirt, too. And you wake up in the morning. Anything you guys would like to talk to each other about? Because you went through the shit? Uh, I'm going to be real quiet, uh, just because I feel like there's a lot of, uh, reflection upon what happened. I think my character isn't super thrilled about that. So what? yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm also going to go get magic erasers and dampen them so that we can like do sheet things. But I wanted to preface it with my character's just going to be si- silent for a I didn't bit. realize that magic erasers existed in the time period in which... <laughs> They're Didn't magic. you notice all of your things are clean? Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god, all my stats. <laughs> so, <clears throat> Dirt is just kind of like looking back and forth at everyone. No one is saying anything. Everyone looks fucked up. Uh, Gray is just kind of 
has his two axes out. They're in two logs, and he's just kind of like, <laughs> dick. So, it went well. <coughs> he made no it thanks to you. You guys had it. Yeah, but like Rufio died like three times. He's not dead. Did you bring him back? Did you use a spell to bring <coughs> him back? Well. Neither one of us know spells. Then he didn't die. He just got knocked out. Yeah, but like... It's not a thing. I wrote a berserker. That's awesome. Thank you. They didn't think it was cool. That I is thought the cool, it was That cool. is the you raddest never, thing I've heard. You never asked me if I, I thought it was cool. I can see it in your eyes. Well, I let you ride me all the time oh. and... <laughs> You're just going to out us like that? <laughs> Literally to get through the dungeon, you were riding on my shoulders to look for traps. Thank you. That's a fact. But it... I mean, you guys... Found the reason why they were getting abducted and shit. Yeah, no, I mean it, it was good. <clears throat> minus they, the minus the succubus. Where'd they go? Where are the berserkers? Oh no, they left, man. They they started moving the herd down because you know this place is tainted now to them. No, oh, so we should probably go. Oh no, that's just mumbo jumbo. I don't believe in that stuff. This place is fine. I'm sorry. What were you saying? I I got distracted. I, I see that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't remember. I walk away. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Rufio. Are you, he's going to pee. I think he's going to pee. Well, if you pee blood, just we got to go to a hospital. Let me know if you pee blood. Check your urine. He's going to check his he's urine. He's going to check his urine. <laughs> so what happened while we were gone? Oh no! There was this awesome party. I got. Uh, I did a bunch of like peyote. Oh fuck you. Um, went on a vision quest with the berserkers. Oh fuck That you. was super cool. That was super rad. Irina really knows how to cut a rug. Great dancer. Oh, and you. your fuck boy you. just kind of like did whatever it is he does. <clears throat> he was whining a lot. I wasn't really paying attention to him. So much peyote. Fuck you. I fucking hate you. Dirt, did you do peyote? <laughs> no, I didn't smoke anything. I just was on guard, you know, ready for if anything happens. <clears throat> Next time you can come with us if you want to. Oh, no, that sounds okay. <laughs> um, the fact that, you know, he almost died a few times. We could have used you, though. You're you pretty things, decent. If I may make an observation, things seem tense between the three of you. Yeah, well, uh, there was a succubus. Okay. I don't, oh, God. And Let me see if he knows what that is. Um, I don't, I'm not sure what a succubus is. Okay, so Gray goes. It's a, it's like a devil thing, lady from hell. Was it a dude or a chick? Because they chick. come in both genders. It was a chick. You know, don't be you know mean. Uh, yeah, no, they usually just bend men and women to their will. They're evil. Yeah, so we thought she was a trapped person. We tried to free her. Classic. When we did, she made out with me, which I was like, whoa, Yo, you got some? Yeah. Well, I mean, my man. It just—it's peaking the levels. <clears throat> okay, and I'm—I turned it down a little bit, but it's still hitting. You her. got some? Yeah. And, Hell uh, yeah! So, but then when that fever. happened, I pretty much turned into a zombie and started attacking Rufio. Ooh. And then I was able to break out of it, but then she got to Rufio, started making out with him. Did she tell you to hit him? Yeah. 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 Sometimes it's like a subconscious kind of thing. Yeah. Oh. So you two, you two are fighting. Or they want to fuck each other. Oh, you guys want to fuck? Rufio, do you want to fuck Shart? Rufio, do you have blood in your urine, bud? Because I he's, assume because you said you walked away. But yeah, so cranky. Then she got to Rufio. Yeah, Rufio started attacking me, mm. and it it was a mess. It was a mess. So I would say they're tied up. <clears throat> it's a little weird right now, but me and him talked it out. I think we're okay. I got a new fucking mall, so that's pretty cool. That's right? pretty neat. Thank you. No Absolutely. problem. I got you, dog. Uh, during this exchange, Irina gets up and she she follows Rufio out towards where the horses are. Um, <clears throat> so, Rufio, as you're basically sore, you feel all of your joints, like the back of your head from how many times you hit the floor or hit something blunt. It was a lot of times. It was a lot. You're a lot just of completely sore. Um, you're out of armor at the moment because any, you don't know if you even have the strength to don it right now. 
And as you go up to the the horses, you hear behind you, you hear the rustling of leaves. And as you turn around, you see Irina trailing behind you, not running, but walking. And she makes, you know, uh, no, I wouldn't say like a face at you, like a <laughs> face, but she makes an acknowledge. She has acknowledgement in her eyes. And as you go up to the horses to make sure they're ready for that morning, she uh, she goes to the horse on the other side of you. So there's about a horse buffer between <laughs> you. And she's trying to maintain eye contact, trying to be nonchalant, but chalant at the same time. Are you okay? Well, uh, I'm still awake, so doing better than yesterday. That's always a good sign. It's a low bar. It's a low bar. Low bar. You, uh, you boys did a really good job down there, though, no? Well, some of us better than others. I, um... You're a very honorable man. You have a good heart. When it comes to things like that, honor is uh, less uh, appreciated than maybe some skill would have been. Every battle is not going to end in you vanquishing the monster. However, that doesn't mean it's not a victory. Uh, I I take pride in the victory of the group, but I just... Wish I could have done more. Should have been better. Well, your skills, it seems as if they are growing and improving each day. I'm sure you'll get there. Well, for the sake of the group, I I hope so. Okay, anything you guys want to do in the morning? I'm going to assume eat, wash your face. Mm -hmm. Um, Anything specific you want to do before you head out? I mean, there's nothing around, right? No. Nothing crazy around? Extra ones of these? What? Extra ones of these? Uh, oh, there. the other green one's over there. Thank, thank you, baby. Oh, my eraser's here. Mm. I was looking for that. Oh, so I think your sunglasses are, too. One of... Oh. I think... I'm assuming they're yours, because they're not mine, but... Um... I mean, I guess... <coughs> guys, are you ready to go? Yeah. <laughs> the ready as I'll ever be. Okay. So you you start heading back out of the college woods, Rufio. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to get as far away from here as possible. <laughs> That's fair. I agree. So, uh, it takes about two days. Um, anything that you're particularly doing during those two days? Uh, more looking for uh, <clears throat> trying to track, see if we're being followed, if there's anything. Okay. Where ravens or not good. Right. Ravens. In your in your travels, I mean, you fight a few more wolves, some swarm of bats. Um, so the last night before you get to Velaki, I need all of you to roll perception checks. And I'm going to say they're at different times. So these are your keep watch checks. Uh, 18. Okay. Uh, 14. Mm-hmm. Say 10. 10. And then who's going to keep watch first? Uh, I'll, I'll go first. <clears throat> you go first? Yeah. Okay. So, nothing really eventful happens during your watch. <clears throat> Sounds of the night. Everyone's sleeping. Irina is still kind of... Mm, mm. So, you decide um, you're going to kind of stay closer to her. She's now... She's sleeping next to where Rufio's bed is. And yours is kind of like on the other side. So, you two are kind of guarding her at this point. And then, uh, Shart's more towards the... Uh, the fire and gray for the first time you see the wear and tear and you see him kind of like blank over he's not sleeping it's more like uh, when a computer hibernates okay so he's just kind of like he he shuts up and he kind of just zones out uh who's going next i'll go next okay you'll go next okay um so during your watch for the first hour and a half nothing really happens i'll also Pray in that time. Okay, so you're you're praying to whore. Yeah, and um, <clears throat> praying for vengeance, vengeance against your your enemies and your you know your allies' enemies. And it's it's a fairly quiet night. However, as you're you're sitting and you're watching, you're noticing that the mist is getting thicker and thicker on the outskirts, and it looks like they're slowly coming in. But you've seen it do this before. You don't really pay it no mind. Um, at this point, gray kind of like on hibernates and looks at the, 
in the mist and he goes, that's kind of weird, isn't it? It's happened before. Yeah, but... You know what? I'm going to just check it out. I'll be right back. And he puts choo -choo, two hand axes in. And you see him kind of go to the north in the mist. And it's about 40 minutes and Gray has not been back yet. <clears throat> uh, So it's been my... How long are watches? About two hours. Two hours. So, so you, it's it's at the end of your watch. Uh, I'll wake Shard up. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> uh, Gray went out. The the mist is a little heavier than it was before. So it's back. Okay. Yeah. Um, and he, I haven't heard from him. It's been a it's been about forty minutes. Oh, great. Okay. Oh. You're a better tracker than me, and my watch is up. Uh, so no, that's fine. I'll um, <clears throat> I'll take a look around. Um, if I'll you wake want, you guys up if I need you. If you want, I'll wake Dirt up to to watch the camp while you go look for Gray. Um, I don't think it's in our best interest to venture out alone. So I think we should stay together, <clears throat> unless we have a reason to go out as a group. Uh, Shark, do me a favor, roll a perception check for me. Another one? Mm-hmm. That one is not as good. That one is an 11. You, I'm going to let you roll as well, because you're both awake together, looking off into the fog. Uh, 14, again. 14. <clears throat> so, Rufio, as you're staring out in the direction that Gray was, you see a dull kind of glow coming from the outskirts of the fog, and you see it coming closer until it about stops right at the outskirts of where this dense fog in your the end of your camp meets. Am I in armor? Am I suited up or no? I would say no. Okay. Unless um, you uh, unless you think you would don your armor during the watch. I would probably say Probably not. Either probably way. Probably not. So is, at least if I'm still a little achy <clears throat> and stuff, probably not. So as you as you're looking at this thing, Gray's body shoots back. And it it ends up in front of the feet of both of you. And as you look down on it, there is nothing behind the eyes. And you see... And you see this bright, dull white light escape from his mouth as it shoots up in the air and it splits. And Gray no longer moves. Uh, I... Lay on hands, Gray... To see if it does anything? It doesn't. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> shit. I would like, want to do a medicine check, but I'm not really proficient. You can, just, I'm, you can I roll. I mean, I just lay on hands. Yeah, I'll, hand <clears throat> on I mean, it's worth it to roll to see if yeah. I can figure anything out. Uh, Twelve. As you look at this, the, the body that Gray occupied is dead. Shit. And Gray is no longer in it. Well, <clears throat> I'm going to start putting armor on. So as you're doing that, you hear um, the the kind of squelching of leather as, and you hear these buckles kind of shake, um, and you hear that you hadn't really noticed before. You hear like a the breathe the labored breathing of a horse, and from the mist you see coming out this very gaunt, six four, beautiful looking man, black hair. Very regal looking rings on each finger, sharp black um, nails at the ends, and he goes, A revenant. Not really my forte. They usually have some kind of wrist. Don't worry, your friend will be back. I thought it was about time we met at this point, no? Who are you? Oh, sorry. Polite, impolite. And he does a bow and he goes, Strahd Van Zarevich, at your service. I believe you have something of mine. You need to leave. I don't believe now. we have a damn thing of yours. Am I still asleep? <laughs> you are. Nobody woke me up. You Nobody woke you up. Yeah. But how would that be fun? You definitely have something in mind. You don't have to play stupid. I know you're not. Well, then tell me. What do we have? You have Irina. Okay. Why don't you come and get her? 
you see, I, I mean, I've been watching you as, as you probably suspected. Yeah. You're quite formidable. I mean, I'm more than happy to take her by force if you'd like. If you step foot in our camp, you're going to leave here, but not in the way you showed up. I'm kind of counting on that. And you see him and he takes another step forward. He was very chatty uh, and would not shut up. We know. So, said I knew him. <laughs> I've met so many adventurers at this point. It's not like I'd remember any of them. Uh, I'll pull out the claymore and... Uh... So barbaric. That's my job. You're not... You're not supposed to be here. We don't want you here. I am Barovia. I don't care. <laughs> you 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 seem like you're trying to bear a hole through my head. What are you? What is this? I just don't like your face. It's a very handsome face. <clears throat> no, no, I get the chance to. I'm gonna bash it in so hard that your mother would just never want to look at you again. I mean. That's fair. Mother's dead. That's an old wound. Thank yeah. you. Ow. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but good. He lives <clears throat> there then. He lives there then. And you see on his hilt, he has this rapier, and he, he, he's just kind of has his hand behind his back as he's looking you up and down. and Very interesting. Why did you choose now to show up? Seemed like you needed a little morale boost. They all looked cranky, cranky. Very also, cranky. Kicking your ass, do you think it's going to make me feel better? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. But team morale. I need you together. Why? Because you're stronger together. Well, yeah, no shit, but... Yeah. How would that be fun if it was just I could pick you off one by one? I have done this so many times. I need a challenge. Oh, buckle up, Buttercup. You're getting one. Oh, don't make promises you can't keep right now. Uh, how about how far away is he from us? I'd say he's about thirty feet. Uh, and how far away is everyone else? Um, I'd say you're about where Gray's body landed was about ten feet from where the fire is. Mm -hmm. So he is overall about forty feet. You're about. 10 feet away from the, the fire, from where everyone else is. Okay. So it's um, not like you're pretty far. It's so hard trying to plan a battle in my head when it's just him and I. <clears throat> How much armor did I get on before Strahd showed up? I'd say you got at least the... Well, hmm, not much. The chest on. Yeah. Okay. Um... Look. We don't want you here. You've made that clear? So, mm. I'll give you the opportunity to turn around now. It's very kind of you, Paladin. Because if not, mm -hmm. I'm going to send you on your merry fucking way. See, I've done this so much. I usually leave when I choose to leave. I don't normally have the choice made for me. You're not ready for this challenge. Walk away. <laughs> And you see him, and he's just looking at his hands, and... <sighs> you have a lot of anger in you. That's good. You're going to need that. You're going to find out. Mm -hmm. What's that? And the little one? Very clever. Don't push that button. Oh, no, I would never. But you're squire. <laughs> Smart that one is. Yeah, he is. He's also got fire hands. Fire hands, that's very impressive. Fire hands, very impressive. And it's at this point you see his horse come in and its hooves are on fire. As the And its mane where hair is supposed to be is just this long flame that just flows out. And it's this pure onyx black stallion that comes out. A little over the top, huh? It's I hot. like to be a little ostentatious. It shows. I like to show. I like when people know I'm, when I'm coming, when I'm arriving. Really? Because you seem to 
do it in the dead of night. Kind of seems like a bitch move to me. Yeah. I mean, if I came out in the sun, would it be a little more intimidating? I think so. Try it sometime. Feel like you're lying. It shows that you have balls if you want to confront us during the daytime. Oh, I can confront you during the daytime. Would you like me to? Uh, no, you already went ahead and played your I bitch mean, card. We're already here. I mean, I can return. I'm more than happy to show up, pop in, see how your progress is doing. That's fine. And uh, at this point, I feel like you two are circling each other. Yeah. And just sizing each other up. <clears throat> I, I want to... Uh, can I roll... Uh, man, what do I even have on me that... I just want to like throw something. Oh, I do have a notebook. I want to throw something at... Uh, Absidy to try and get him to like stir. Okay. But I want to do it without Strahd noticing, so I, I feel like that would be a stealth, but you I do don't. do a sleight of hand, Jack. Sleight of hand. Uh, what could I throw? I don't even know. What I, uh, I have a, a ring. Just throw money at me. <laughs> I have a Just ring. Just throw money at me. I have a gold ring. You're not going to wake up if I, hit a, if I hit you with a ring. You can throw a ring. I'll, I'll, I'm saying you have, you're positively abreast with currency. I have, I have a decent amount well, of currency. Well, he probably doesn't have the currency. Yeah, I don't think I would have it. He's got no pants on. on. Oh, true. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. So I, I would roll a sleight of, of hand. Yep. To, oh, great. I have no bonus on that whatsoever. Um, yeah, I, I choose like try and throw it at Absidy to get him up. Okay. That's a 12. That's probably not going to do it. He looks at you as you... <laughs> Small one, wake up. Mm. What? Gray? No. Not no? Gray. Yo, no. Hello. <coughs> Hi. No. He's very friendly. Hey. Yeah. Better? Okay. Much. What? What? What's going on? Absidy. Strahd. Ah, fuck. <laughs> he curtsies again. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I grab my weapons and shit. <laughs> oh. Stealthfully. 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 <laughs> Go ahead and roll for that. <clears throat> uh, whatever five plus my bonus is. Ten. <laughs> Looking at me scrambling. It's quite, it's quite cute. Oh. Hey, dirt. No, that's a, hmm. Hey. Hmm. Strahd. Stravanovich. <coughs> no. Just get get up. Dirt. I kick dirt. dirt. I kick dirt. Duh. Ow, why are you kicking me? Get up. Why is that pretty man here, and why is that horse on fire? Dirt. <coughs> Strahd. Oh, you're... you're... Dirt. Stop. <laughs> I'm so wake, scared right now. Wake Irina up and go. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not going to chase. Don't worry. I'm giving you the opportunity to simply hand her over to me. Well, I'm a nice guy. I make I, I make nice deals. To that me. response, I'm going to tell you to go fuck yourself. And I'll say no, thank you. <clears throat> yeah, and no, you kind of <laughs> he he looks over at Irina, who at this point she hasn't stirred. She's still sleeping pretty hard. And you see his his eyes flash, uh, Strahd's eyes flash briefly. Smirk kind of goes around her eyes and goes, oh, she's dreaming about you. All of you saving her from the big dark man in the castle. It's quite cute. It's actually based on true events. They just haven't happened yet. They haven't happened yet. Oh, God, you're ambitious. This is exciting. It's been, it has been so long since I've had a true challenge. I can't wait to take your head. You can certainly try. Bring it, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more than happy to give a demonstration now. Uh, no. we're so we've been circling, right? Yep. Uh, <clears throat> I want to stay back in front of Irina. Mm-hmm. And I have the claymore on me. Do I have anything else on me? You have your. I have, I've, like I said, you have your my chest piece, your yeah, chest yeah. armor, and then you have your regular leggings and. Shoes. Would I have like my javelin or no? I would say because it's your equipment's. You probably would put it by camp, but not, not yeah. where you sleep. Okay. Um. So I'll I'll circle back and I'll be in front of Irina. Mm-hmm. Um. That puts me behind you. Okay. That puts me behind that's, you. That's that's fine. 
Yeah. Um, <coughs> gentlemen, I don't think this is a fight we can win right now. Uh, you're not wearing pants, so yeah. <laughs> you ever been dick- dicked to death? No, I usually do the dicking. Yeah. Not today. You look like quite the dick. Savage. <laughs> <clears throat> um, what do you want? He wants. We're arena. not giving you Irina, so you can just I get out. I need us to roll initiative. No. <laughs> <laughs> I need Shart and Rufio to both make uh, charisma saving throws. Oh, shit! Oh no! That's not. That's not great. And eleven. Can you hand me the the book? Uh, twenty-two. And an 11. <laughs> and an 11. I got 11. I got a rock. Um, at this point, Strahd's voice changes pitch from... You wouldn't really be able to tell, but with your 22, it just seems like it echoes. And it seems familiar to what you encountered earlier uh, a few days ago with the succubus. And his eyes flash again, and both of you make eye contact. And you feel this urge to listen to him, but you're able to shake it off and shart. However, you unfortunately are hanging on his every single word. And he goes, I know what happens when both of you are mad with each other. So I will ask again politely to give me the girl and you're implied and you're implored to do so. To pick her up and bring him to her. Shart. Shart, don't do it. Ho, don't do it. (laughs) Oh, my God. He's in front of me, so I'll move over and step in front of him. I was going to say, I'm in a zombie mode, so there's nothing I can do. Does he still talk, or is he like a robot? No, he can still talk. Yeah, so he's, your, your motivation is I'll just say changed. it's still, you, you can still talk, and it's not to the point where you're zombified with the succubus. <clears throat> yeah. Just your your thought process is, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna bring Irina to her. We're going to yeah. be fine. We're going to, then, that's all he wants. Yeah. If he does that, I get to see Vic again, or Vin. I get to have my brother back. I just have to give him Irina. Yeah. But that's not what Paul would want. I'll let you roll again to see if Paul would shake shake you loose tie though nope it's worse it, 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 it did not do it okay shart stop <clears throat> it's what he wants it's, but this it's whole not, thing has been to keep her it's away it's not from what him. we want i can't stop. punch him in the face you're gonna punch him in the face absolutely Who are you punching in the face shart shart yeah okay do you can do um non-lethal damage? Yeah, that's what I want to do. So he'll roll an attack on you and okay. see if you can get him. You roll a D4 plus two if you hit him. What'd you get? I rolled a nat 20. Okay, so it's 2D4. Yeah, but <laughs> I didn't want to do that. <laughs> I changed my mind. I, I punched Sh- Strahd in the face. <laughs> With lethal damage. Uh, that's Seven. a four... Oh no! My when I pulled it out, it was a it's a one, yeah, so, so it's five. Plus two, it's a seven. Oh, plus two is a seven. Got it. Well, oh, it's plus my proficiency. Go ahead, repeat your saving throw for me. Is that what the plus two was? For what? Eighteen. He said plus two. So, so this will crack to your jaw. Suddenly, this whatever he has you, his influence just shakes. As you feel this pain in your jaw, and you're like, this motherfucker has been. And he's trying to get me to get Irina too. Stop and being you're just stupid. Angry. I'm just gonna fucking look at you, with shoe bomber eyes. <laughs> shoe bomber eyes. You're just prolonging your death. Uh, so Shart is now like in my face, right? So we're all yeah, together but he's now. He's looking. I'm, I'm looking. Through but he's like Shart. really, really close to me. Correct. I lean over, and I whisper, uh. Throw an axe. Because Gray's axes are still on the log. Fifteen. When he makes the move to throw the axe, I charge forward with the claymore. Okay. <clears throat> so fifteen. Uh, did you roll a natural fifteen, or you added your strength to it? Added my strength to it. Okay. 
So the axe misses as it just, it doesn't even like phase him. He doesn't even move as you move forward. Go ahead and attack him. Mm, 11. <laughs> so you see him and he just, he's kind of side swipes and uh, does a 21 hit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. He smacks you on the back of the head with two bludgeon damage. Come on now, you have to be quicker than that. Uh, then I'll, I guess I, I like came forward, so now I'll try and like switch hand, hand. You're gonna and, try to swoop up. Yeah, okay. I'll let you do it. Uh, fourteen. Fourteen, and he just misses. You swipe up again, and he just kind of steps back. Does a seventeen hit? I would assume because I'm not in full armor. Okay. And he, like a bad dog, he smacks you on the back of the head again for four da a bludgeon damage. Come on. Quicker than that, heroes. Uh, Throw another axe at him. Sure. 24. 24 hits. Go ahead. Uh, that's uh, 11 points of damage. 11 points. So you see this... Uh, axe sink into his chest and where you've seen other people um, that have taken an axe to the chest like Gray. Gray looked mildly annoyed and most people are more like oh my god you just threw an axe in my chest. He just looks amused as he goes and he pulls it out and he puts it gingerly onto the ground. That's more like it. And it's at this point uh, you're in front of Irina. I mean, now I guess I'm closer okay. to Trump. So, dirt, I would say, is by Arena. You yeah. hear I her stir, too. and she opens her eyes, and she freezes. And Strahd makes eye contact with her, and you see that flash in his eyes again. Uh, I want to stab him in the face. <laughs> uh, so, as you're trying to stab him in the face, Irina, her eyes go blank as she starts slowly walking up towards him, arms outstretched. So go ahead, roll an attack. Do I get it at advantage? <laughs> Is anyone flanking him? I mean, I figured he was... That's not going to do it, but I figured he was locked in with her. What'd you get? <laughs> 11. That, that <clears throat> misses again. Like, you you were so frustrated, frustrated at this point that you're just swinging wildly. And he's just sidestepping as he puts his hand out and his eyes haven't broken from Irina's as she's stumbling... Irina? Over. Irina! Absidy. Words aren't going to do anything at this point. I tackle Irina. Okay, go ahead and roll in a, a grapple. Well, the, just so strength. See if you can grapple her. Uh, Dirt grabber. 14. What's that? 14. 14? Okay, Dirt's going to help you, so go ahead and roll an advantage for me. Uh, 13. <laughs> okay, so 14, and Dirt grabs her, like... <clears throat> ankles and you grab onto her back as she's starting to slowly go down and at this point she just she starts I wouldn't mm, screaming for him that she's clawing trying to get back to him as you're both you and dirt are like squelching shark pick her up and go she wants to be with me no do you pick her up that. and go okay, I'll so, be here <clears throat> is that a strength check for me yeah go oh, go ahead and roll a strength check it's a bad time to roll that. <laughs> what'd you, what'd you not, roll? not good. I what rolled, what'd you seven. roll? A seven? Okay. Am I, mean, I an advantage? Because they're already pinned her. <laughs> she's struggling. She's squirming hard. Yeah. And the three of you are trying to contain this 90-pound woman. <laughs> as she's just <laughs> clawing and gnashing her way, trying to move forward. Uh, I'm going to attack Strahd again. Go ahead. Try and break some form of something. Oh, my God. Natural one. You are, you are seven. flustered. Is that's it a seven? seven? No, that's a one. That's a one? That's a one. So, that's a seven. Oh, yep, that's a one. <laughs> you are so flustered, sir. What you do is you both <clears throat> both hands and you swipe down. And it's at this point, Strahd, still not breaking eye contact with the gnashing and crying uh, Irina. He puts his hands out. And you see him clutch the blade with his hands. His, these long, slender hands. And you start hearing a as the metal begins to whine and you see just what looks like old coagulated blood coming from his hands as he's looking forward and you just hear 
And as you're trying to move it away, you start seeing cracking on the side of the claymore as he's starting to crush it. Uh, I headbutt him. Okay, go ahead, roll an attack. Jesus, can I hit one time, please? For the love of Christ. Mm-hmm. Uh, what would I add to a, a for a headbutt? I would say a strength. Oh, um, uh, it's a sh- it's not a strength save, right? No. Nope. Straight strength. Straight strength. What is? <clears throat> I don't. What's a plus four? Yeah. Oh, seven. You you move forward and you take two points of bludgeon damage. So his head doesn't even move. And you hear the whine of your metal, and you see the three of your friends panicking and and trying to break free of this. And he goes, interesting. And he slowly lets go of your blade, and you see in it indentations of where his fingers were on the edge of the blade as he was crushing it. And uh, he goes, heading off to Velaki. Hmm. That's a good place. That's a safe place to put her, but not for long. I'll see you again soon. Remember, you had a chance. And then he snaps his fingers, and that daze leaves Irina's face as she curls up into an uncomfortable ball. And you see him ride this, uh, mount this black steeded stallion with the fire hair. And he goes, ta-ta, boys. And he rides off into the mist soon as you see the uh, the dim light getting dimmer and dimmer until it's finally snuffed out into the uh, into the fog. Better run, bitch. That's not. I don't, I don't think he heard no, you. No, that's not. I uh. Yeah, I'm gonna, is this gray okay? I'm gonna go into. I'm gonna like storm off into the woods and just start smashing the claymore into a tree. Okay. Out of frustration. Right, uh, use use your sword instead. It it cracks more and more. Don't care. I'm gonna keep going. Uh, you you snap Mongo's claymore in half, as you unleash onto a bounty of different trees. That it just looks like you're fucking lumberjacking through as you're screaming this hate in your in your heart that you had him. You had him right there, and you couldn't do anything about it. Um, I go this, after him into okay. the woods. Okay. Rufio. You, yeah. Stop. At this point, with like his gauntlet gloves, you see Rufio just pummeling this stump into the ground, and you just see more and more wood breaking off as he's just, his knuckles are, you can see, are bleeding and scabbed over as whatever was behind his eyes are just, is just pure hurt. Rufio, <clears throat> stop. He was here. He knows where we are. He knows where we are, and now we have another chance to get him. Uh, get him. He got us. For now, there was no, there was no victory there. There wasn't even a moral victory. We're not dead. Irina's still with us. He's. We're not dead because he doesn't want us to be. Let's make that his last mistake. We'll get him. We know where he is. We know what we have to get. Do we have time? Do we know? Do we even have a direction? We have those we five have, cards. We have five cards. They don't tell us where to go. They're not telling... They, they tell us random things that we need to be on the lookout for. Listen, we're going to a town. A city. Where she'll be safe for, and I quote, not long. But a city has knowledge. We can find out more about what we have to do. You don't get it. You don't get it. You don't get it. He could have her whenever he wants. No words or or anything is gonna keep her safe. So what with do you want to do? I don't Sit know. Around? Then let's keep moving forward. Cut the shit, Rufio. Absidy. You don't. You don't understand. You couldn't stop her. You couldn't even hold her back. If he wanted to have her, if he wanted us dead, then he would. He's playing a game. Do we have any other choice than to play? No, we don't. Then we keep moving forward. Whatever, man. I know it's hard. I'm going to walk away. Sucks. I'm going to walk back to camp. Dick. <laughs> Anything that you're doing during the... As Rufio <clears throat> storms away, dirt at this point is... Um, 
trying to see what's going on with the husk that was gray. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Irina is fetal on the ground. I was going to sit with Irina. Okay. And so kind of like Andre the Giant and Buttercup and Princess Bride, you kind of scoop <clears throat> her up and you bring her over to the fire where it's light and she can yeah. see you. And she just, she, she's non, she's looking at you and she's, I, 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 I could, I couldn't, I could I couldn't hey, help. Hey. I couldn't help myself. Irina, and she just <clears throat> t- streams, just coming down. Like at this point, you you'd seen Irina kind of like a tough chick. We, <clears throat> Irina, <clears throat> we are gonna do everything we can to keep you away from him. That is my promise. He was that is there. our promise. He was there. He was so close. I know. We don't have the ability to promise. He just, uh, Rufio is coming back into the brush and that's the first thing he says. We don't have, you know, we're not able to promise. We're going to do everything we can to keep you safe. And it's just, it's more tears as she buries her, her face into your chest and heaving sobs. And you finish out the night. Um, so come morning, you make sure everything is snuffed out. All the horses are ready to go. I put the remnants of the claymore in a bag or something. Mm -hmm. Because obviously I can't sheath it. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, In hopes of, like, getting it repaired. Yeah. Since we um, rested out the rest of the night. uh, I'll say you guys are back up at full. Okay. Um, Also, uh, Rufio, you (laughs) notice that dirt has buried or has made this massive hole that he was able to drag Gray's body into while everyone was resting and recouping. And he goes, I figure it would be best to bury him. It's a kind gesture. It's a kind gesture, but at the end of the day, that's not Gray. That's just his vessel. Gray will be back. I just, it just feels wrong keeping him out, you Dirt. know? That was, you did good. And he, with his hands on his hands and knees, he's piling the dirt back in and you hear him, um, praying as you know the dirt kind of settles and he gets um he makes a makeshift cross out of branches and stabs it into the uh into the dirt and brushes his hands off so to Velaki Velaki to Velaki okay so um it takes a few hours and you're passing through the uh the roads <clears throat> Uh, the old Zvalich road, uh, it kind of meanders and, uh, it meanders into a valley that's watched over by dark brooding mountains that you see on the uh, north and south of, uh, of this road. Uh, the woods recede eventually as you're going through this thick woods, they recede and, uh, it reveals a sullen mountain berg, uh, surrounded by wooden, uh, palisades. So kind of like wooden planks around. Um, thick fog presses up against this massive wall, more of the, the fog that you saw when Strahd appeared. And, uh, as though it's like looking for a way inside, but it keeps smacking off of the wall. Uh, the dirt road ends at a set of sturdy iron gates with a pair of shadowy figures standing behind them planted in the ground and flanking the road outside the gates are half a dozen pikes with wolf heads impaled on them. Well, that's a good start. <coughs> yeah. Roll a, can I roll a perception check on what I see? Dead. Sure. I know things about wolves, so. So this is the gate outside of. Eh, not that many things about wolves, apparently. I mean, you're looking at them, and they just they look more and more like the wolves that you've experienced yeah. recently. Like they're all mangy and. You don't know how long they've been there. You see horse flies like buzzing around them and gnats and you see some decomposing and it looks like they, whatever attacks, they spike. It's the enemy of my enemy. He's my friend. (coughs) What do you say, boys? Let's mosey. I mean, this is why we're here, so. Let's go for it. So as you... As you move forward, you see these two guards. They're in armor. Um, and with most guards, you would see spears. They're carrying pikes. You would assume that they're part of the guard that put, you know, the wolf heads. And they Point go. of information. Yes. What is a pike versus spear? A pike, I think, is like... Um, 
Alexa, what's a pike? Alexa, what's a pike weapon? Formerly used extensively by infantry. So it's so like it's, a spear. It's kind of it's like longer. a spear, but it's a long it's bladed longer. spear. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, gotcha. <clears throat> so a little more stabby. <laughs> I used to play stabby. a lot of Age of Empires, so I mean, I would have told you guys it's like that, a but Guan you asked Yu. Alexa right away. <laughs> it's like a Guan Yu pike. And they, they look you up and down, and they go, what business do you have here in Vakoli? Uh, We need to see the abbot. You need to see uh, Father Lucian? Yes. <laughs> what for? For our own business. And you see across their eyes that they they believe that you're, you know, they don't know if you're going to do anything bad to the priest or anything in that regard. They just seem very untrustworthy of you. Of course. Rufio. We've Talk. been attacked a lot. So have we. By our men, by our guards, by the people of Barovia. By Strahd. It's too dangerous to be speaking his name here. Well, then let us in, and we won't talk about it anymore. And you see one of the other ones, he just kind of smacks him and he opens the gate. Any funny business, you will join the wolves. I appreciate it. And you hear, you see these giant wrought iron gates kind of go, eee, and they whine open as you go in, and they slowly close. And um, in front of you, you see to the sides more houses. Um... And as you move forward, you see um, slouching. It's a century-old stone kind of like church that has a bulging steeple in the back. Um, and it looks like everything is cracked. The glass windows are depicting different kinds of saints. Uh, and there's a fence that's wrought in iron that encloses a garden of gravestones next to the church. So a uh, cemetery. And you see a thin mist amongst the, laying amongst the graves. Other than that, there are more... There are more people in the streets, uh, more than the village of Barovia. It, it seems it's a little bit more of a bustling kind of town. Um, like I said, more homes. And you are officially in Falaki. Uh, woo. <laughs> woo. Woo, woo, woo. Um, you know. So I'll, I'll go up to someone. I'll uh, unmount the horse and mm -hmm. uh, go up to someone. Uh, excuse me, uh, sir. Da. Can you uh, direct us to Abbot uh, the Father Lucian? Oh, yes. Uh, Father Lucian is in the St. Andros Church. Uh, how far can't, is that from here? Can't really miss it. It is that church that has big cross on top. It's about, I would say about 15 minutes. You can see it in the distance. It's not too far away. Uh, it's still I, a part of the town? Yeah, yeah. It's, in the, it's in the middle of the town. Oh, okay. okay. Well, not um, in the middle, but it's at the... Beginning of the We'd day. also, uh, we're, we're very new here. We just got here. Um, we're looking for a, a decent inn and uh, maybe a oh. blacksmith. Okay, so you want um, you want Blue Water Inn? Blue that Water is, Inn. Ah, that is the only inn here, but fair board, fair room. Uh, blacksmith. Um, there is uh, Pietro. Uh, he is at the uh, corner outskirts. Um, Towards the end of town, if you make straight shot with road, you should be able to see his uh, his shop at the end. He does good work. Does the best work in Velaki. That that's all I needed to hear. Uh, one more thing. That. Uh, if I was to to look for uh, the church for uh, a, a god in particular, hmm. uh, whore, where would I go? You are looking for revenge. Uh, we do not have many temples here. Uh, you most likely could find refuge at St. Andros where Father Lucian is. That is where most traveler come to pray, uh, pray for, get out of Barovia. Well, hopefully we'll be able to, to help that cause soon. We're gonna, we're gonna pray on it a lot. You sound very optimistic. Uh, it's not my nature, <laughs> but, uh, and I'll give him, uh, a gold piece and thank him for his, his time. That is very kind. Thank you. No, thank you. 
So um, <clears throat> you move forward. Uh, more people just kind of looking you up and down, and obviously they get adventurers here. Uh, where do you stop at first? Uh, I want to. Uh, I I mean. I vote the inn. The you want to go to the inn first? I was gonna go drop, go to the father first. Figure. Well, what what time? Can, what time I, is it? I would say it's about noon, so it's not like it's super crazy. You could go to the inn. realistically, you could go to the inn, unload, reassess, do what you need to, and then you could always bring her over to the to the abbot. So okay, you can sell shit. Yeah, we got a lot of things to sell. Well, I mean, I don't know if we can sell them. those at the inn. I think we need to go to like a shop. I don't think we can sell. We can't do that, right? We couldn't like sell unless we're selling them to just individual people. Unless it's like a general, right? But then but yeah, we're it, it, then it, we're like advertised. It's like, hey, look at all the shit we yeah. have. <laughs> can, we, can we put a uh, ad up on Craigslist? Is that? Yeah, you can put it on uh, takemystuff.com. Yeah, D and D list. Yeah, let's uh, actually. I, I the more I think about it, the, the inn's a good idea because we can ask a barkeeper or the innkeeper. We kind questions. of reconvene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. So we'll go to Blue Water Inn. How far is that? From the church. From the church, it is... What was the name of the church again? Uh, it is St. Andros, A-N-D-R-A-L-S. So, where it's about 20 minutes in from where you started, uh, the other church is about 40, or I'm sorry, the inn is about 40 minutes. Okay. But on foot, I mean, it's a leisure walk. You yeah. don't have to really worry about running or anything like that. Okay. Uh, uh, so, yeah, we'll go into the inn. Woo. Okay, uh, let me see here. Hotel, motel, Holiday Inn. Inn. So, gray smoke issues from the chimney of this large two-story wooden building with a stone foundation and uh, sagging tile roof, uh, upon which several ravens, ravens have perched themselves on top. Uh, there is a painted wooden sign hanging above the main entrance, and it depicts a blue waterfall. I think we found it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's... So, as you come in, you see a few patrons at different tables drinking. Um, there is a someone singing on stage, a bard, uh, and then behind is a, uh, a bartender. He's a uh, human, looks a little bit gruff around the edges, and you see him kind of cleaning a glass, spit polish, then puts it back. And Great. Oh, saloon. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go up. To the bartender. Uh, uh, hey, friend. Hello. What can uh, I have you for? Uh, are you the, the innkeeper as well? Hey. Uh, what's your name? Erwin. 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 Like Steve. Got it. Erwin Matrikov. Erwin. That's it. Is that a Valachian name? <laughs> uh, it's, it is a... Uh, no, it's Vistani. Not Vistani. Uh, it is... Uh, Barovian name, Metrikov. Erwin. Erwin. Uh, we, we'd like uh, room and board uh, for for the next little bit. While we're while we're in town, oh, okay. do you have... You are, you are adventurers, no? Going on adventure. Yeah. Uh, that. Oh, that's sad. Um, okay, so it is one uh, electrum a night. That is less than a copper piece. Oh, my goodness. And... Uh, Usually, you if you need food, we have a hot beet soup that they make daily and fresh bread every morning. I bake every morning. You have as much as you want. This is part of the package. Oh, great. Great. Uh, how many rooms do you have available? I, I have, I mean, I have about eight room available. Most people, we don't get much visitors. Usually when they stay, they stay night and then they leave. Uh, so usually we have vacancy. We have about eight room and you see him pull out like a pad and she goes, yep, we have two people leaving today. So eight room, um, I'll, I'll turn to Irina and ask, um, w would you prefer to stay with us or the abbot after we meet with him? I'm sorry. What? I zoned out. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to ask <laughs> Irina if she prefers oh. to stay with us or the abbot once we finally meet with him. Um, I guess it, uh, I wouldn't mind sleeping in the uh, bed before I go to the abbot. I don't know if he has a bed or I have to sleep in cellar. What? Well, that's fine. We uh, take, we, like what? We take like day to reassess and yeah. then we go. Yeah. I need yeah. to, I need to decompress. We'll run. So I need to also. How many beds are in a row? Send out to, uh, my brother. Um, well, We'll take four rooms, Erwin. 
Okay, four room. Uh, that is, there is what? One bedroom. So one bed a room. Uh, can d d is there is there two beds in one of the rooms? Not usually. Usually they are a single person. We'll take five then. Take five. Okay. Uh, so that is a uh, one each. So it's li it's a tenth of a copper. I'll just give him a gold piece and that tell him to keep it. That is very. This is very kind. Um, okay. I. Let me let you know specials because you're a very special customer now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And you see man. him pull up like a little menu that he's made himself, and it's like on a, a tanned leather, and, and you like see like markers. it's a little parchment, <laughs> and he goes, "Okay, um, supposing you don't want uh, free beet soup and bread, even though it is best beet soup in all of uh, Volaki." I, I don't doubt it. We have uh, cooked wolf steak. Uh, also, we have. Uh, Purple grape smash, which is wine that we make in the house. Uh, usually about three uh, copper pieces per pint. Or we have very special red dragon quash wine. Usually one silver piece. Make it in the house. I'll take one of those. Which, uh, the red? Yeah. Oh, thank you, sir. I want that dragon energy. <laughs> <laughs> I want that fuck energy. Um, and you see him. Un uncork and he fills you this goblet of this beautiful kind of red wine and he yeah thank you you guys want some do you have any mead um okay um we had mead uh i will i will be quite honest usually we tried to do ale i've been trying to keep back the wine um wine delivery supply is almost depleted um latest delivery from uh, wizard of wines winery overdue um I mean, if you could find out what happened, I I give you all the red cross you want. Yeah. Where is this? It, it's in town, I'm assuming. It's, I believe so. Where's uh? What's it called again? Uh, Wizard of Wines. They are overdue on their delivery. Should they have been gotten it two weeks ago? I did not get it. Do you have any idea why they might be? Behind? I, I have no idea, but I know Metroff over there, he is drunk, alcoholic, quells pain with wine. I'm running out. We'll, we'll help you out, Erwin. Oh, that is very, that is very kind of you. Um, and that's at this point, he kind of notices the, the feather armbands that you guys made. And he kind of go, like his, his mood kind of changes. And he goes, so you hunt, uh, you hunt Raven. It looks like, uh, those are very holy, uh, creatures. Probably not a good idea to do that and not hurt them. Uh, Wait, don't hurt these them? These were these these were feathers that we found. We we would never hunt ravens. Well, we're dumb. dumb, we ain't that dumb. At this point, like four people that are that were sitting at one of the far end uh, tables kinda looks at you and they look back down at their drinks. They were from who? Uh, we just found them. Found them. Okie okay, dokie. Off to the side. We should probably take these off. Erwin, what? Do me a favor. We've we've given you our patronage. We're gonna help you out. We're gonna go to the Wizard of Wines. What? What can you tell me about these feathers? They are raven feather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but why? Why are you now? Removed. You were very courteous, and As you are wearing raven feather around your arm. Usually, people kill raven for feather or beak, feet. Not usually uh, good folk who do that. Not to say you are not super great, awesome customer, but you know that is a little unsettling. It's like if child was cute and then skinned cat and then put over head. Uh, I, Erwin, I, I thank you for that analogy. You painted. Such a lovely picture. My cousin has problems. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Uh, we'll we'll remove them. Uh, honestly, we did. We I, didn't. No, please. Uh, we apologize. Obviously, we've upset you and and your your patrons. I'd like to buy a round for everyone in the in the bar. That is very kind of you. Um, Give him another gold piece. That is that is more than kind. Um, as you see this, you see that there are two little boys that are kind of help bussing tables as they're picking up and one of them kind of like puts the platter on his head as he's trying to balance it trying to make a game out of it 
and the younger one is just he's all sleeves and he's just kind of mm. like eh. those are uh, those are my sons uh, Brom and uh, Bray Brom is the the taller one 11 Bray looks up to his older brother he's 9 just trying to don't drop I swear to god I will I will smack the black out of your hair if you see if you break another glass good kids very good kids but sometimes you gotta like gotta gotta, keep them in line gotta love them so uh, yeah we'll we'll make sure everybody gets that round uh we'll we'll make sure is to keep these raven feathers to a, a minimum mm-hmm. and uh yeah f- five rooms please okay uh so as you're looking around um you see that there is a staircase that kind of goes up there's an outside scare- staircase uh, and you see in the back there is um, where all of the different like poles are. You would assume would be the tap room. Uh, there's just a lot of stuff in here. So uh, maybe I, we should talk to those those uh, people who were drinking who looked up. The ruffians. I'm less concerned with them and more concerned with getting to the room and situating ourselves. We have business here. Okay. Um. Okay. So you go up to upper floor. Uh, as you go in, you see that the upper floor, it's just the middle of where the tap room or the, the bar room kind of is, is open. And you can see the banisters in the balcony of the other rooms where you would assume where the other rooms are. And you kind of walk up um, and you see the different rooms and you get settled and... There is uh, before we depart into the mm-hmm. rooms and stuff. It we'll uh, we'll meet back downstairs in about an hour. Everyone refresh. Uh, is there like a, a common bathroom area up up there? Uh, there's kind of like a you. There's an outhouse kind of in the back of the actual inn, so you'd okay. have to get out and leave and go to the bathroom well, and come back up. Everybody, you know, rest up, get <clears throat> situated. We'll meet back down in the bar in about an hour and figure out what our next plan of attack is. Hey, Erwin, do these doors we're, have locks? We're upstairs now. Uh, hey, he Erwin! Can, he, he can hear. Oh. Da? Do these doors have locks? Do you have something to hide? No reason. I mean, yeah. Asking for a friend. They have locks. You also will find storage locker for your very most important things to put in it. Cool. Thanks. No reason. <laughs> I, I feel you. like there is reason, but okie dokie. Uh, As you go in, you see the different kind of rooms, and you see that kind of like in a hotel, there are rooms, but when you go in, you see another door, they kind of connect, so potentially uh, you could go two to a room, Uh, and then at the far end, there is a room that says private on it, and it looks like you weren't given a key for that room. Oh, my. Hmm. Bye. Um, But as you go in, there are, when you kind of connect the two rooms, so there are like two cozy beds. They have uh, foot lockers that um, rest in the far corners. They're about like 15 feet square inches of room. Uh, there are wolf furs that are heaped atop of each bed. Uh, basically kind of like blankets, covers. Uh, and then between the beds, um, there's a lamp that sits uh, on a table under a shuttered window. And two black wardrobes stand against walls by the door. So you have wardrobes, you have an oil lamp, so you have lamp light. You know, um, you have your wolf furs. Uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, for for the hour, I'll write in my notebook. And okay. I'll just write to whore. And okay. uh, definitely want to hit on in this juncture, uh, you know, what happened with Strahd. How could he, you know, let me... I let that happen to me without any kind of aid or assistance. Uh, just mostly frustration. Of course. <clears throat> okay. Um, yeah, you in write. In my notebook. In your, in your journal. I mean, this I is my journal. Dear diary, uh, what the fuck? It's me, Margaret. <laughs> um, also, Irina looked really cute today. <laughs> she looks super hot. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, you, you spend the, the next, uh, I would say, what, 30 minutes to 45 minutes writing gathering your thoughts, anything that you guys are doing during this time. I can't get into that room, can I? Are there still a bunch of people out? I mean, they're, right, down, it's like a they're downstairs. 
pee while you do this, because I know what you're doing. I think I'm going to go into that <laughs> private room. Oh, I thought you were going to go in the room. I thought you were just going to be, can I look in the keyhole? <laughs> oh, I'm definitely looking in the keyhole. I was waiting for that, too. Yes, I'd like to go to that private room and see what's inside. It is locked. Is there a keyhole? Uh... Or can I look under the door? It the the room is in play room, plain like sight of the tap room, so people can look up at you and they're like, "What's that little dude doing?" It is Nothing. in plain sight. You oh, can pick it. I'm not going it's to. It's just in plain sight. No, everyone can see me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. <laughs> okay, I'm good. I'm just gonna go back. I'm just. Uh, I think I'm gonna rest. For the most part, just like take a little like breather from traveling. Actually, I want to go downstairs and listen to the bar. <clears throat> You want to listen to the bar? Okay, yeah. so you go downstairs. Uh, Mike, I'm sorry, not Mike. You're not Mike anymore. Sharp. Uh, you're going to take a little nap? Is that what you said? Or? Yeah, and my reason being is uh, I want to see if I hear anything from Paul again. Roll a constitution saving throw. That'd be a con? Okay. Or wisdom, sorry. Uh, fan con would have been better. <laughs> Nine. Nine? Okay. Your um, your vision, you know, you're, you're going into REM sleep. So your eyelids, you see the uh, the pink of your eyelids as the sun is still coming through, and uh, your eyes rapidly start moving left to right, left to right, and the the pink starts getting darker and darker. And you inhale deeply, and you feel the dust that's in this room and the thick air of the mist. And you exhale, and you inhale again, and the the air seems to seem cleaner. As you exhale again and you do this a few times, and by the time you're breathing in, you, you open your eyes again and you're in this large forest that you had previously been in before. You're propped up against a tree, the same tree that you were uh, in the Porsche forest. You're back in your home. Mm -hmm. And at the very far end, you see, you see Paul slowly coming back over, treaches over, and he puts his hand his head back in your lap as you open your hands and you're just kind of holding this wolf head. And he goes, it's been a long time, green one. Yes, it has. Getting bigger. <laughs> yeah, not so bad yourself. You know we called you Runt, right? Yeah, I know. You seem troubled. <sighs> I know Vin's here and I want to try and find him. I also know that he could probably be helpful to us while we're trying to take out this, like, this strawed motherfucker and while we're trying to protect Irina. <sighs> I miss you guys. We miss you too. I just want to, I, I want to try and find him. I know when we talked to Madam Eva, she said that he's here and he's okay. Just couldn't tell me where he was. You believe he is in this continent? <sighs> I... Don't see any other reason why I would have gotten stuck here if it wasn't to try and save him. That's true. Bring our brother back home and he will guide you. We'll try to guide you as best we can here in the forest, in the wilds. All right. <laughs> Sorry, the steps and things. <laughs> <laughs> so as you, as you sit, you spend the rest of your um, your sleep talking to Paul, react, and he's reacting to what you're telling him. You tell him about the succubus, and you tell him about all the different adventures that you've gone on with your friends, and that you know you you came in originally with a heavy heart because of Vin, and you see that you know you couldn't think of being anywhere else besides but with your wolves. But you can see that these people truly care about you, and yeah. they're talking to him, and that you know. There is that that shred of humanity, and it's not not all men are bad. Mm -hmm. And after about forty minutes of this, you you jolt up and you're covered in wolf pelt because you were getting cozy. Yeah. And it's about twelve when you got there, so it's almost about one as you look out and you hear raven feather ravens flocking and people outside and hustle people and bustle. in the top room. That's nice. And what were you, you said you were going to go by the bard? Yeah, I'm just going to go talk to the bard a little bit. Okay. Um, let me just check something. You've been really. singing long? Right. <laughs> so. You offer voice lessons? Hootie hoo. <laughs> hoo. 
I've been working uh, on this song. X gon' give it to ya. He gon' give <laughs> A it. A gon' give it to ya. Um, okay. So he is a uh, half elf. Okay. You see him because uh, he's not as tall as an elf. His features aren't as angular, but he has the pointed ears. You can assume he's a half elf. Uh, he's very colorfully dressed, and um, he is. Playing a jaunty tune. Hmm. And jaunty tune, jaunty tune. And so yeah, you see, you see like a little jar out, and he's like, "My baby, don't mess around because she loves me so, and this I know for sure." <laughs> Woo! Don't try to, to fight, fight the, the feel. Are you singing with him? Yeah. Because uh. the thought alone is getting me right now. Oh shit! Pop, pop. <laughs> Hey, I like your music. Oh, thank you. And thank I, you very much. And I tip him a, a gold. Oh, you're quite generous. Thank you very much. You know uh, talent when you see it. Oh, I do. What's your name? Oh, uh, my name is Rictavio. Rictavio? Yes. Nice. Where'd you learn to play the uh, instrument? When you were born with natural talent, you don't simply learn these things. They're imbued within you. Okay, but where'd you go? <laughs> I, oh, but no, where'd you learn? No, but seriously. <laughs> I was given a lute on my fifth birthday, and I've been playing ever since. Do you want to teach me? Um. <laughs> yes. As far as I'm taking, I'm not ta- kind of taking any, like, students at the moment. Oh. But I want to learn. <laughs> I like I'm, the music. You, uh, do you write poetry? Do you write poems? I... No. Can I, be, <laughs> no. I don't. Can I, be I totally honest? thought a lie was coming. Can I be honest with you? And he kind of like, you see him put his arm around you and he kind of moves away from the stage. Like five minute intermission. He goes, listen, I actually have zero talent. Like I'm not good at all, but these people will listen to anything and I'm raking it in. Yeah? Yes. If you want to try like a set for like 30 minutes... Just go for it. You probably will get tips. Oh, yeah. What time What time is it? Like 12.30? So right now it's about 12. So while everyone is like, he's sleeping, he's writing in his diary. Yeah, I am. And <laughs> <laughs> so for the next 30 minutes, if you want to like chill with Rictavo. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna duet with Rictavio. Okay. Um, Let's duet. <laughs> so he, as he sings and he's, and he's talking, he's talking about faraway lands and places. Um, and everyone seems very enamored with, uh, Rictavio. Um, yeah. I'm just playing a chair like a drum. And I'm going to say you make, uh, with the conversion, you make like five copper pieces. All right. So that's like 50 EP or whatever they use. (laughs) Um, yeah. So. Anything you want to ask of him or anything that while you're... Uh, I just really wanted to know where he learned. Um, Don't forget to deduct your gold piece, bitch. <laughs> or add your copper pieces. <laughs> well, no, his EP. It's a conversion. Oh, yeah. Sorry, your EP. So where, where are you from? Uh, I'm from uh, I'm from all over. I'm from here, there, everywhere, anywhere. I'm, I'm kind of like a rolling stone. Kind of like Mick Jagger, Keith Richards kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, that sounds like a bullshit answer. No, just I, I, wherever I lay my hat is my home. You're and a nomad. when he died, all he left us was a low no known. That's mm. another song. I don't, I don't know. Music. Papa was a rolling stone. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I just, I, I'm from where? From everywhere, really. Got any, got any hot tips about this area? Yes, um, I mean, they're all Barovians, so, you know, real uppers. They're not downers at all, uh, and they totally know how to party. Um, I mean, they're, I mean, there's the Burgermaster of here. He's been pretty weird. Burgermaster? Yeah, I mean, you know, he kind of runs the town. He's like the head cheese, the head Ah. cheese burger, if you will. Um, Ha ha. What was that? What's been up with <laughs> um, <laughs> There's, um, I mean, 
I have been hearing that there have been like purple flashes of light coming from uh, the attic of the their home. Don't really want to see what look into that at all. I just would like to continue playing music. <sighs> oh yeah, uh, the wine wizard place. Yeah, you know that place. Do you know anything about oh, them? The Wizards, Wizards of, of wine. wine. Yeah. I don't really leave here, so I mean, I'm sure it's somewhere. Mm. You're not really being helpful right now. I mean, everyone's getting ready for the festival, so. There's a festival? Yes, uh, the Festival of the Blazing Sun. Uh, it is going to be held in the town square in three days. Oh, I know how to count to that. Very good. One, two, three. Yes. Oh, shit. No. Very clever. I'm, You're wrong. very smart. <laughs> I was wrong. I fucked up. <laughs> I thought there was fuck, a four in fuck, there. Fuck. We had um, a previous festival, which... Uh, Basically, the Burgermaster called the Wolf's Head Jamboree. Uh, it was about three weeks ago. And it's at this point, you're thinking of all the wolves' heads that are on pikes outside. And you're like, oh. <laughs> I get this now. Things start connecting. Um, we basically, we, we have a festival. Or they have a festival. At least one festival every week for the past several years. Now, um, some of them believe that the festival keeps that devil strawed at bay. Um... Others, myself, um, I don't think there's any protection or benefit from it, but, you know, mass mentality, everyone thinks they're safe, so everyone's kind of a lot nicer. More willing to give me the coin, if you get my get my, my drift, but we have to kind of talk low about the festivals being bullshit, uh, because the Burgermaster um, declared that uh, anyone who talks bad about them are in league with the Strahd, and then they're arrested, and then they're thrown in the stocks. Oh, that's uh, weird. Or some of them are um, taken to the mansion itself, and he's going to. And sometimes he purges them of their evil. Oh, does that sound pleasant to it you? Does, because no. it does not sound pleasant to me at all. So, uh, so that's what you mean by weird. You're around, writing in your diary, Stan around, Frank. Yeah, I'm asking what time it is right now. <laughs> it's, it's about twelve forty. Okay. So you can come down if you want, because you it was forty five minutes or forty to forty five. Yeah, minutes that you're I'll doing. start making my way downtown. Walking, Walking fast. fast. Peace is past. And I'm inbound. inbound. You know, don't want to get in the stocks. I don't know if they'd give you apple boxes or have you dangling. Uh, No offense, you're a halfling. I just, you know, want to be fair. Inclusivity, I get it. Yes, it's inclusive. Rufio, come play music. No. Okay. Oh, is this your friend? Yeah, that's Rufio. Uh, Rufio, I am, uh, 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 you see him kind of like, Rictavio. At your service. You should tip us. You should tip us. Money. Tip. Give me money. Money. Money, please. I will tell you a great story (laughs) about (laughs) a whale (laughs) of a... (laughs) I walk away. Uh, Are those people that... Don't be shy. ...looked funny at us still there? Or any of of them still there? One of them is kind of there. Okay, I I walk towards him. Obviously no no raven band Mm -hmm. any longer. Um. Uh, and I'll I'll just kind of welcome myself to a seat. Hey, hey there, friend. Hello. You uh, you were kind of giving us a little bit of a weird look there when we uh, walked in, and I wanted to know what uh, what what gave you pause. You are adorned in feathers like a freak. Uh. Well, to be fair, a freak gave them to me, so... Hey! <laughs> uh, roll a perception check for me. Oh, God. I can't see. Uh, 13. Okay. You just... He kind of just... His eyes turn into little bits of slants, and he just kind of... He's just trying to figure out what's your goal here. Look, uh, we just got into v- uh, Vakali today. I'm not trying to make any enemies, and I don't want there to be any trouble. I don't look for trouble. Which is why I ended up buying everyone around. I hope you en- enjoyed that. Very kind of you, thank you. Of course. Um, what What more can you tell me about this town? Again, I'm very new here. Places I should go. Things I should see. I mean... <laughs> do you like fishing? Love fishing. There is, um, I mean, there, if you follow the uh, the road east or north, I mean, there is uh, 
There is Lake. Uh, what is it? Lake just, Heard that. Lake Zorovich. Um, but there is uh, lots of wolves that have been there recently. Actually, um, the uh, the hunters uh, Slozadar Zarovich and Yevenji Krushkin have been taking in more and more wolves. That is where they get the wolf steak. Do they have nicknames? Not that I am aware of. Okay, well, we're going to work on that. <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> one more time. For... <laughs> Do you have a dice in your ear? <laughs> That's it's why he Apple didn't AirPod. hear. They go, um, it is Zoldar, and you, have, and you hear, Zoldar Zavenskiewicz, and Yevgeny Kroshkin. Okay, and you see, and you see these two men, and they have... Uh, Different kinds of leathers and hides. One of them is uh, balding on the top, but long in the back, thick beard. Skullet. Other one has a uh, like kind of th- black, greasy hair, um, and they are covered in like bows. And one of them has a sack full of just dripping, whatever it is. And he puts it on the table. He goes, "Somebody call our name, and no one introduce us. We are wolf hunters." Very nice to meet you. Uh, wh- which which one are you? Uh, which one are you putting up? Uh, the one that was just talking. So that is... Uh, I am Soldar. He is the one who's thinning. Uh, Z- What's Zoldar. the skullet? Skullet. He's got the skullet. Zoldar, it's, uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, my name is Thomas, and I'm just here in this town. You know, just just hanging out. Uh, I just got here with a, with a group of my friends, and... You know, we're trying to keep a relatively low profile and uh, looking for some, some things to do. It's things to do. I mean, you are looking for guide around uh, woods outside of Vakali. We are more than happy to oblige. And then you hear uh, Giveni, he kind of goes, oblige. Uh, yeah, actually, I'd, uh, in the next day or two, I'd, I'd love to take a trip out to this lake. You want to go to lake where all the wolves are? Uh... Preferably with less wolves, but, you know, uh, who doesn't like to fish or, or be around a lake? We kind of look at each other. I guess you make fair point. Wolves are nice. We kill wolf. Yeah, and it, it'll help you guys, and it'll get me out of the out of the inn. You know, I like to experience new things. I mean, you could always go with uh, with Bluto. He goes every day. You'd, usually you can find him because he is covered in wolf bite marks and scratches. Dummy. And then you hear the other one, <laughs> dummy. Uh, I think I'd feel safer with you guys, but if I was looking for Bluto... Oh, he'll be coming in in about the uh, usual comes evening. Leaves every morning, comes in, drowns sorrow here because I'm a fish on the lake. Oh, great. Yeah, he seems like a big old dummy. <laughs> he is dummy. Oh, great. Good to know. Um, there is also, if you go southwards and westwards where you came, I am assuming... There is also Vistani camp. Uh, we try to keep them, you know, at bay. Don't really like them coming in. Filthy people. Yeah, they're dirty. We don't. No, I wouldn't. I don't want to go see them. At That's this fine. point, the the guy at the table kind of looks at you and what? Uh, I'm just making conversation. You're bad at it. And he goes, "What are you whispering about? I'm right in front of you." I was wondering. Uh, how I'd get one of your fine wolf skins. Oh, you want the wolf skin? That we, would be... uh, we do uh, five silver pieces for our finest wolf skin, sir. That sounds like a bargain. Bargain? This is finest wolf skin in all of, uh, Valaki. I know, and that's why I'm gonna give you a gold piece for it. You are a son of a bitch and I love your face! <laughs> he takes the, uh, the, <laughs> the gold piece and he gives you this black... Like onyx kind of uh, pelt, and it looks like it can kind of connect under your uh, your armor, kind of like a wolf cape. Cool, I like wolf capes. That dope. Kind of it's kind of dope. Um, can I get one of those too? You're not here yet. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you want to wear people that you might associate yeah, like, with? Honestly, kind of against this, but <laughs> <laughs> those are my bros. You don't have anything it would connect onto. <sighs> <You're right. laughs> So you're staying here in the Blue Water Inn. You are not a resident, I assume, since I have not seen your face before. Uh, and no. you hear the other one goes, yeah, face before. 
You are both just charming in conversation. I am very charming man. I can tell. He goes, yeah, he's very charming man. Are you a <laughs> charming man? And he kind of freezes the other one. And he looks over and he goes, no. And, he, <laughs> and the other guy parrots him, no, no. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, he, the, he has what they call the unfortunate face. His face. Unfortunate. It's, ugly. It's not a good face. It's not good face. And he kind of just goes. <laughs> <laughs> not a good face. Kind of Bobby De Niro's it. He's like. Uh, I'm going to look at the guy that uh, I was across the, the table from. Yeah. Uh, and, and we had uh, He's kind of like looking at both of like this interaction like. Uh, are, we're good here. We don't have a problem between you and I. No issues to speak uh, of. Go ahead and roll uh, perception again for me. Three. No problem. Um, and, and swigs. I'm going to look at my new friend uh, Zoldar, and I'm gonna be like, I, I, giving you my my patronage, my business. This man seems to have a problem with me, and I don't understand quite why it is. Maybe you can convince him that I'm I'm a good I'm a good man. You want me? I can convince very good. You see my bow here, and you see in his bow there are tick marks, and there's at least twenty twenty five. He goes this for every wolf I kill, with this bow. This is new bow. Got it for last winter solstice. <laughs> it's about like fall, so it's almost been a year. So I'll look at the guy. Did you, did you see the new bow and the tick marks and the? And he kind of looks over and he goes, "I get the hint," and he pushes out. You go ahead and roll another perception for me. Mm, please be good. I'm rolling like shit today. That is an eight. I'm gonna switch my d20. He gets up and he walks over to the bar, and he just he speaks with um, Irwin. And they're kind of hushed, and they look over, and Erwin's like, hey, that was okay. <laughs> And he's like, oh, just... uh, Zolar, thank you so much for, uh, for talking to that. Of course, that... I'm a super nice guy. You're a great guy. I'm You're a great guy. I'm a super good dancer, too. Uh, you know what? We'll save that for another time, but we'll it's definitely get some loss. drinks. Yeah, we'll get some drinks. And... You're my old get drinks. drinks. And be married together uh i'm gonna try and find my friends and uh well are, do you guys hang out around in this in in when the blue water we usually come back at night this is mid hunt fantastic so we'll talk to you guys uh before we decide to go to the lake hire you guys up and let's kill some wolves and shit the hell yeah we kill wolves and shit yeah, yeah shit <laughs> your friend is just delightful yeah, he's all right. I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> um, just you know, you uh, you watch man with pointy ears. I see he talks to the child. Yeah, uh, that is the child is one of my friends. Yes, he just he came a long time ago uh, from distant lands, and he was in a carnival wagon. Circus folk he smell like cabbage. Got it. Tiny hands. The 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 singer it's guy weird. that tried to make me give him money. He he's from circus folk. Hey, he's circus folk. He tell good stories. Yeah, they're all right. <laughs> what did you say? I mean, yeah, they're good stories. <laughs> any uh, any any stories in particular that you uh, you enjoy very much? You can give me like the shortened form of cliff notes. He talked about his uh, companion. Uh, companion was uh, tinier than him. All I know is he had tail. Uh, what was it? And he's kind of snapping his fingers and the other, he's like, monkey? He goes, yeah, he had the monkey, but the, no monkey goes into in Monkey, very dirty thing. Weird, weird thing. So he, he got rid of monkey. Aww. Poor, poor circus monkey. man with the monkey. Did he have a little box that he would? You know, <laughs> never saw him go through the door, so I don't know if monkey. He had like little vest, little hat, cute, but you know, he's like still monkey. Dirty. Dirty. It's still monkey. Yeah, yeah, dirty. Got it. It rip ears, people's child's nose off. Yeah, that's not. You don't want that. You don't want that. Uh, 
do you do you gentlemen know where I could uh, maybe send some some letters if I if I was trying to converse with with fr- my f- friends back uh, home? Oh, friends back home, you are not f- you are from Barovia? Uh, currently. I mean, you would have to go to Vistani to s- because they are only ones who are able to leave Barovia. I can't even like send a letter out or. What's going to go out of here? I don't know. I, maybe you, guys are... you think like Bird is going to be able to carry letter all the way over to other coasts like Greyhawk? I was... Uh, Fae, Run. What if I wanted to send uh, a letter to Barovia? Oh, no, that's easy. They're super easy, convenient postal service that is... They go around, they go in the morning. Guy with the satchel yelling about mail. Can't miss it. Great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Now, if you excuse me, me and my compatriot have just delivered this fresh wolf meat that we will be now harvesting more wolf meat. I'm going to get some of those steaks later. I'm excited. They're good. They're good. And you see the other one, he's like, (laughs) (laughs) they're good. Yeah, they're good. So good. Good. It melts in your mouth. Not in your hand. (laughs) It doesn't. It's It's gamey as fuck. Okay, and and they leave, and then with that, I'm going to say we're going to call it here, and then we will adventure more into the land of Velaki. More fun, lots of fun stuff to do. So, oh, yeah. shit. That's, uh, so so that that was a lot of information. Uh, kind it's of gonna a battle. Be a, it's going to be a <laughs> information. Yeah, this is going to be a very information-driven set of episodes. So, uh, yeah, but thank you guys for, for sticking with us and, and checking this one out. Um, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, do all that stuff. Um, we'd love to, to hear from you guys if you're following along with us and whatnot. And make sure to follow Justin at Top Tabling, uh, where he plays D&D for every other day of his life. I only not play it three days of my life. Uh, yeah, Top Tabling, or sorry, Twitch TV slash Top Tabling. Uh, Mondays we play Rise of Tiamat, which is another in-book kind of fun 5e game uh currently on wednesdays we'll be running a harry potter game that i'm in i'm already sounding exhausted um and then (laughs) usually thursday or friday we play our big main homebrew campaign and then sunday on you will find repeats of curse of strahd and also of our other game that i run tomb of annihilation so five things i'm running so please support uh, we just got subscribers. We got ticks now. You can give us bits and shit. I don't pay attention to it. I just hang out in the chat. Also, we do a dice giveaway every month. Um, we'll be do- giving away a new pair of dice for the month of July. And then once we meet 150 subscribers or followers, sorry, we will be giving away our diehard metal dice. Very excited about that. And every time you enter in for one of our regular dice, you're also entered in for those metal dice. So follow that. Woo. Cool. Cool, okay, bye. Party City. Wow.